I'm Intern Afton, and welcome back to the Pit Vlog. Starting college can be pretty stressful. You're living on your own for the first time, managing all new classes, and you may not know a lot of people on campus. This is why including some time for wellness in your schedule can be very helpful. In this vlog, I speak to Emily Roan, the coordinator of campus fitness at the Bayer Rec Center about the different wellness facilities and programs Pitt has to offer. I'll also be talking with other students about why wellness in college is important and what they've personally been doing to support their own well-being. Let's go! Hi, could you tell us a bit about yourself and your position? Absolutely, my name is Emily Roan and I'm the coordinator of campus fitness here at the University of Pittsburgh. So what is Campus Rec? That's a really great question. So Campus Rec at the University of Pittsburgh is a bunch of different things. First of all, it's our facilities, so we have multiple facilities across campus where students can come in and do open rec. Um, that could look like a couple different things. That could be, you know, running on a treadmill, doing a workout with your friend, with folks on your floor. Campus Rec is also swimming pools. So we have uh, some swimming pool facilities on campus. We also have club sports, intramural sports that folks can participate in. So it's the sports side of things as well. We have group exercise and personal training offerings. So that's kind of all of Campus Rec. So let's say someone is new to the gym, new to fitness. They don't really know how any of the equipment work. They're not really sure how to get started. What are some resources that Campus Rec offers for that? You can sign up for a free wellness consultation. So if you're trying to figure out where to start, how to get started, wellness consultations are really great way to get started, talk about goals, talk about you know things that you're interested in getting involved in. So is there any basic uh, gym etiquette that you think students should know or anything regarding COVID guidelines that you think is helpful to know? Absolutely. So the university is still operating off of wearing masks over the nose, over the mouth during your entire duration of being in our fitness facilities. Um, the only two spaces as of right now that you do not need to wear a mask is our outdoor field at the dome and the swimming pool. Everywhere else, you need to wear a mask during the entire duration. If you're a beginner, you're maybe uncomfortable and not confident coming in and knowing what to do with our equipment, my staff are super duper helpful with that stuff. So any facility attendant that's in the facilities at a desk or out cleaning and doing their duties, you can walk up to them and say, hey, excuse me, can you show me how to use this piece of equipment? They would be more than happy to show you how to use it. Depending on what piece of equipment in the facility, there's also instructions on, for example, the selectorized pieces of how to use the piece of equipment. It'll have little images of a person sitting or standing or kneeling or whatever on that piece of equipment. It'll show you the full range of motion. What sorts of different types of facilities does Pitt offer and what are the differences between them? On Pitt's campus, campus recreation is spread across campus. So we have some upper campus facilities. We also have some mid to lower campus facility offerings for folks to use. Um, and that students, staff, and faculty can use. Uh, we'll start with the Barrel Recreation Center. So within this space, we have locker room amenities. We have group exercise, multi-purpose room spaces. And of course, we have this large fitness center floor full of all sorts of different cardio equipment, strength equipment. Um, for you to use. We have day lockers. You can bring your own lock, lock your stuff up for the duration of your visit, or you can pay for our locker rentals and you can store your stuff for the duration of the semester. So if you're trying to create that healthy lifestyle, create a routine for yourself, you're more than welcome to keep your stuff here for the duration of the semester, so it's handy. The next facility I'll talk about is Belfield Hall. So Belfield Hall is a lower campus facility. It has a um, lap pool. It has a uh, fitness center, basketball court, there's a dance studio in that space as well. Same type of layout, you know, students are able to use cardio equipment, strength equipment. Um, it is on lower campus, so folks are able um, to, you know, go to and from class, very convenient. We have the William Pitt Union Fitness Center. So that fitness center is on the third floor. It is solely dedicated to cardio equipment. So if you're trying to get a quick little run in or a quick little bike or elliptical workout in, that's the perfect spot. It's central to campus, obviously. In the William Pitt Union space, there's also an aerobic room and a cycling room. So if you wanted to do some stretching or if you wanted to use small weights and resistant bands, we do have the opportunity as well. We have the Trees Hall facility. So Trees Hall has a lot of different moving parts in it. Um, it has a fitness center on the ground floor. There's three basketball courts on the top level. 
on that same level where the basketball courts are is the climbing wall. So if you've ever gotten into climbing, there's a climbing wall there that students can use. Uh, we have two pools actually, a large pool and a small pool at Trees. We also have locker room amenities. Um, and then our final space is the sports dome. So the sports dome tends to be where a lot of the club sports and intramurals practice at. But students can come down and throw a frisbee with their friends, kick around a soccer ball, play dodgeball, whatever they want to do. But that space is an indoor and outdoor turf field facility. So for those that just want to come down and, and play around with some friends, they're more than welcome to do that there. So this fall, our COVID policies are this. So all students, staff, and faculty must come into our spaces wearing masks over the nose and over the mouth. We do also have disinfecting wipes. So before and after you use any equipment in this space, we just ask that you clean up after yourself. Just to make sure we can continue to provide our spaces and their clean environment for everybody to come into. Um, also, just be accountable for how much space you're taking up. So just make sure you're aware of your surroundings and you're not too close to folks whenever you're in here. Across campus, students may also recognize that there's a fitness center in some residence halls um, and university-owned apartment complexes across campus. Um, those smaller spaces provide students the opportunity to stay within the residence hall, not go outside into the elements of the Pittsburgh weather, and get a little workout in. So if students are interested in finding out more information about Campus Rec, uh, I highly suggest that you follow us on Instagram. Um, it's Pitt Campus Rec, and then we have a website, so rec.pitt.edu. So what is your personal experience with wellness on Pitt's campus? Coming to Pitt, I was super scared to start working out. So one day I was just like swallow all the courage I had and just went to one of the gyms, which was the Tree Hall gym. And um, I absolutely loved it. I asked one of the workers, how do I work like some of the machines? And they offered to help me out through the whole experience. I didn't feel judged. I, like some of the girls even came up to me and was like, hey, you're doing it wrong. Can I show you how to do it right? And I was so happy to actually learn how to work some of the equipment. So. That's really a personal experience for me. It was really nice to be very appreciated or accepted into the gym. So what do you think incoming first years should know about Campus Rec? Oh yeah, so guys, access is free. And on top of that, like, I love how everybody was so welcoming again. You're going to be welcome with either being scared or not being scared. You're gonna be welcomed. Well, there you have it. Incorporating wellness into your experience at Pitt can be as easy as a five minute walk on the tower's treadmill or as involved as a full body circuit at the Pete. Whichever way you decide to stay active, Pitt has the resources and encouragement you need to support your well being. For more information, visit studentaffairs.pitt.edu slash campus recreation. See you next time and hail to Pitt!